Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today, as you can see, things are quite a bit different. Today, I'm actually going to be redesigning the studio, and I thought I'd take you along with that process. Hopefully, it turns out okay. We can always go back to the gray if it doesn't. All right, let's get started. So I went ahead and marked a line right here where a normal chair rail would be. And then I went up quite a bit higher at this like 42 inches because I think I want this chair rail a little higher so we can see it because we never filmed this low. So that kind of gives you an idea of why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'd like to kind of give it a, a homey feel, you know, kind of like a, I don't know, like a homey little studio. So we're going to do some chair rail and some nice details and I'd like it a little higher. So that's where it's going. Now really the first thing that I'm going to end up doing here is putting a bit of um, crown molding for the ceiling. But I'm just going to put it here in the corner. There's a little bit of an unfinished edge where this old fireplace meets the wall. So we'll get that finished. I'm going to cut that to size. So now I went ahead and just nailed the crown molding right into that corner. It's really small. It's like a one inch crown molding. So it just finishes off that edge nicely. Now I need to take this as my uh, chair rail and I need to just cut it to that length. So I went ahead and nailed it to that left side and that kind of gives me an extra hand and the plan here, not that I know what I'm doing, the plan is to put a level on it, get it level, and then put a nail on this side. What's, I think what's important here is that I'm leaving this really easy to take off in case I want to change it around because we may want to do some more designing. <laughs> Can you wave buddy? Wave. Wave to the camera. <laughs> oh. Good job. So I went ahead and just cut this small strip of molding. It's like a, I don't know, like a three quarter inch molding. I don't even know what it's for, but what I'm gonna do with it is I'm going to extend my chair rail by that much because I don't have it, it's over there, but the, um, whatever you call those little frames, they look like picture frames on the wall. Those things were the same size as the chair rail and I wanted the chair rail a little bit bigger. I mean, it looks a little funny being this high, but I think once we get the camera in the right spot and I may put the easel over here or in the corner, I haven't really figured it out yet, but I think it'll look good in the camera. You'll be able to see it because we don't shoot much lower than that. So it should be good. Now, as far as this thing, I've cut this to what I thought was the right length. It looks like I still need to trim off a little more. Measure twice and cut like four times. Just look at what a difference that made. I don't know, just thicker. It looks a little better. I'm gonna paint that white and then it'll match. So hopefully it'll look good. So I've went back and forth about design and I was gonna do two um, you know, two little frames up here, but then I grabbed my shelf, which I want. I want my floating shelves. Uh, and they didn't fit. <laughs> so I'm gonna do one big, I'm gonna do one big frame so they fit inside. Now here's my thought is, I need to at least figure out kind of where I want this. I'm thinking right about there. Oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna paint this wall first. Let's do that. <laughs> All right, well, we couldn't get through the whole video without color mixing. This is regular old uh, latex house paint. This is actually the higher quality stuff. It goes on better with, you know, one coat. I've also got my regular acrylic paints. I've done this before and it, it actually does work. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna take some of our Prussian Blue Deep. If you don't have any of these acrylic colors and you'd like to, to order some, we've got them available on our website. No, just don't use them for this. This is just me. I'm kind of weird this way. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna mix up my own color. And I've got, just got a scrap piece of wood and you mix it up until you get what you want. It dries out just a shade darker because it's just the way it is. I'm going for a mm, darkish blue gray. Not quite as dark as the gray background that we are used to using. A bit lighter than that. But I'm gonna add the color slowly so that I don't waste the paint by having to start again. I've also got just a little bit of black right here too. So I've got just a little bit of that color here on a rag and I just want to try it make sure you can see. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> kind of hard to tell where you can see. I'm just going to try it on the wall and see if we like it. I'm going to step back there, but it looks pretty decent, but I want to double check. Still mixing. <laughs> I put a little bit of red in it because I thought this was too, a little bit too cold. So let's see if we can fix it. So now we're simply going to just roll it on. <laughs> That's uh, not much to it, I guess. 
I'm certainly no expert on rolling walls. There, that's pretty decent. I'm gonna come just up there and I guess I better go get a brush. I'll probably need two, two coats. We'll see. And I'm only painting the top. I think this is gonna give some really nice contrast with the, uh, the little frame that we're gonna add. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Yeah, the camera. So I stopped for a second and I taped off up here so I could just run the roller right up and I'll get a nice crisp line, hopefully. I may need a brush. I really should have brushed first. Hi, buddy. I should have brushed first. I almost lost my train of thought because it would have, would have looked a little better, but I gotta do another coat anyway, so I'll be sure that I cut in first on the second coat. Now I'm gonna very carefully paint this trim. Would have been smarter to have this wood one off and paint it separately and then just nail it back up. But I don't think I'm gonna do that unless it's just going too slow. I could pull it off, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm not just gonna cut in carefully. How's that? Well, this is what happens when you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> now I'm pulling nails out of the wall. All right, that looks pretty good. Should actually put my safety glasses on. And keep pulling these out. I think it's gonna be so much faster than trying to do <laughs> trying to do the trim up here. In fact, I've already got the trim painted. Literally just took two seconds. Hopefully you guys like this because this is a lot of work. <laughs> I like the way that that's starting to create a little contrast and I don't know, just makes it feel more finished. What's great is we can just use white caulk and fill in all these gaps. And it'll make us make it look like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> Plus I broke a little piece right here. So I'll just fill that in. I'm certainly not that great with caulking, but just a little kind of a little dabbling seems to seems to do quite a bit. It's kind of tricky figuring out where to put these shelves really. I'm for the most part trying to use the monitor there so that I can I can kind of see. So I just got one hand to hold. Two hands to hold, but you know, I need an extra person. I don't have one right now. Um, let me see, I could go up. I don't think I really want to go that high. It could be cool. I don't know. That doesn't look bad. How about right here? I don't want to do it level with this one. I kind of like that one where it is, although it just has one screw, so I can always take it back out. It's that or right there. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see if I'm painting right here. What do you think? <laughs> Would we even be able to see it? We might have to go high. Maybe we just put something, you know, like a plant or something up there. Yeah, that could work. So I have this nice vase here that I really like. I put some trash in there just to elevate it. And we should be able to stick some paint brushes in there just like that. And we'll be able to see them that way. And I think I might want them on this shelf. Of course, we'll have to, we'll have to play around with all this, obviously. But that's kind of cool. And I've got this plant. We'll stick it there just for now. How's that? I gotta get the easel in. It'll take us probably a couple of YouTube videos just to figure out exactly how we like the placement of all this. And I gotta get a framed painting on the wall too. Well, I went ahead and put the easel in place, but I still may move it around left and right. I've got quite a bit of room and I'll just spend some more time and try to figure that out. Plus my lights are way off now. So anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed seeing this and hopefully it gives you inspiration to redo your own studio. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I can't wait to actually get painting in it. Thanks for watching.